Hey guys, time for another video on what I've been learning so far. So hopefully you've dived into the elements and stuff like that. Now, in order to get even a better understanding of our current state and conditioning and then how to change that, I made a diagram of the gunas. The gunas are the three attributes to nature, right? They make up nature, essentially. They make up prakriti. And throughout our lives, everything has gunas and we have to kind of balance them out, right? In this ever-changing equation. So it's important to kind of check out where your mind and body state are. So behind me are all the gunas and you can take a screenshot or you can start writing them down or whatever and we're gonna talk about it. So then we can be a little bit more defined in our reasoning skills when it comes to, okay, which guna am I looking at here? So let's begin. First, we're gonna start with the general qualities of each guna, okay? So we got Raja, Sattva, and Tamas, okay? So Raja's responsible for creation, manifestation, transformation, change, activity, expression, and performance, okay? Rajas are your construction stage. When it comes to, for example, passion, all right, when you experience passion, if you are mainly rajasic in nature, you're going to have kind of a flirtatious thing happen, right, when it comes to passion. Um, for craving, when you're craving something, raja is the craving, okay? It's the desire, it's the want, it's the action to get it, yeah? Cool. Sattva. Sattva is responsible for luminosity, illumination, wisdom, knowledge, creativity, simplicity, innocence of the head, and simplicity of the heart. When you're coming up with a manifestation, this is the planning stage, okay? This is where you're actually getting ideas as to how to change your environment or what you will be like when you attain this manifestation, yeah? When it comes to passion, people who uh, are generally sattvic, they uh, experience passion as um, an uplifting sort of thing, an inspiring sort of thing. They're very uplifted, okay? When it comes to cravings, they actually don't really have cravings. They just understand that they're going through a craving right now, um, but there's no obsessive desire for it. They're actually able to kind of control it or fulfill it, but they're able to kind of think beforehand before fulfilling that craving. They're kind of like, okay, cool, like an appreciation to this, like what is that, you know? I'm actually coming to the point where I'm becoming sattvic with my cravings, which is fucking rad because it's taken me years to do that. But anyway, I digress. Um, they also generally experience optimism and joy. Um, and so when we fall in love, right, we're experiencing a sattvic kind of thing and a sattvic kind of emotion. Love is very much like that. Do you ever get excited when you're in a new relationship? right? It's because you have a desire for that feeling because that is very sattvic. So part of our job as alchemists is to bring that craving all the time, whether there's someone there or not. It's fun to be excited and that joy and optimism that radiates within us also projects outside to our environment and everyone else feels that. So that's kind of the main thing of sattva. This is what we're trying to get to as our dominant guna okay now we go to thomas so thomas is generally perceived as a negative thing it's not negative it's actually a conditioned and defined state of body and mind this is why in a previous video i talked about the elements being thomas that they are so are the planets anything that comes in this tangible realm as a form like us right this is a form same as planets and all that kind of shit, that's Thomas, right? It's a conditioned state of being. It's a state where form and shape are established. 
Now, where it comes in as perhaps a problem, right, is when we stay fixated on a thought, whether it's good or bad. So some of us may be thinking that a manifestation is um, a good thing because I'm thinking about money all the time. Money, 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 right? But I'm actually remaining fixated on something and there is a form that is being established there. And that is, you know, whether good or bad, it depends on your purpose. But also keep in mind that that is a Tamas Guna, okay? And if we're trying to balance it out with Sattva, then perhaps maybe we should give more appreciation to that planning stage, to the journey itself that we're on, so we can balance out with the Sattva and the Rajas. Um, and passion, right? People who are generally Tamasic, intent passion like drags them down to really gross dimensions. I had a boyfriend once who, whenever he felt passion, there was always this huge amount of guilt that came in, or he got like dis like it was like disgusting. You know what I mean? It was disgusting to him. He was highly Tamasic, right? And it brought no good because it projected what projects inward is projected outward. So he really self-sabotaged his entire life because he fixated on a thought which was generally bad, right, negative, and he made that a part of his conditioning. When it comes to cravings, right, um, generally if they have a craving, they become very greedy and selfish, selfish and self-centered. Um, and then, generally, someone who has a tamasic conditioning is depressed, anxious, and has frequent negative thoughts. Now, all of us go through this in our period, in periods of life, right? And also keep in mind that the tamas, sattva, and rajas are within everything that we do. So as alchemists, it is important for us to recognize that we have all three of these qualities active all the time. It's important to recognize which ones are dominating your reality right now and then how to balance that out. So this was a short video on the gunas and the more I learn, the more I will be sharing with you. But I hope this helped and I really hope that this kind of gives you an idea of, okay, yeah, I want this manifestation to come to form, right? Um, but I, it appears that everything in my tangible reality now that's already tamasic, right, is I, I see it negatively. So I know now that I am in a tamasic state mainly. Let's move, right? Let me make a plan and then have my inspired action here and start to get more sattvic, start to get more creative of myself so I can get active and out of that state and actually change my conditioning a little bit to better fit the alignment that I wish to attain for myself. Anyway, that was it. I hope this helped. Many blessings on your journeys and I'll see you next time.